What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Courtney. And if you guys are returning, thank you so much for checking out my channel. <laughs> that was so awkward, wow. Okay, so today's video is going to be all about Botox and fillers. And I know this is kind of like a touchy subject for some people, but I am very open and super honest about all of this because I honestly don't care. I do what I wanna do because it makes me happy and if you guys or if whoever is watching this and is against this, then don't watch the video, obviously. I've gotten a few questions on my Instagram from a few ladies asking me about Botox and fillers, where I go, does it hurt, what have I done to my face, and today I'm answering all those questions for you guys, for all of you who are curious or interested, I don't know. So, what have I done to my face? I am super, as I said, super honest about this stuff, and honestly, I have tried a lot of Botox and fillers all over my face, just because I'm curious. I started getting lip fillers when I was 19, I'm pretty sure. And I actually haven't gotten lip fillers in over a year, and this is how my lips look right now. I'll insert a photo of what my lips used to look like, and honestly now, my face is so much more balanced out. So yeah, I've been getting lip fillers for many years now. I love lip fillers, I love fillers. <laughs> So the reason why I'm actually posting this video is because I recently, last week, actually hasn't even been a week yet, I went and got Botox and fillers done at a new clinic, which I am going to talk about because he is so good. For any of you ladies that are in Toronto and are looking for like a reputable place to go, you guys should check out um, Dr. Corey Torgerson. I hope I'm saying that right. He's located in New Yorkville and he is so good at what he does it's incredible like hit one his clinic is very professional and honestly it just felt like you're in like this high-end spa he treats you well he asks you what you want and just the whole like process was just like really 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 seamless and i went in originally because i wanted botox and filler as i said and the last time i got um the last time i got botox the place that i went to she made me have one of these which is com not common, but it can happen if you insert like product too far in or whatever. So I was very nervous to get Botox again. I hadn't gotten in like eight months. So I told him that and he's like, don't worry, I'll make sure that doesn't happen again and this and that. So I got Botox in my forehead and my chin and then I also got filler. And I tried out a new brand of filler. I'm not sure of the name of it, but if I find it, I'll link it here. And it's a Swedish brand and I got 0.5 and 0.5 in my cheeks. I'll zoom in. And then I got the other half of the syringe in my chin, which I've never actually done. And I don't know if you can even really tell a difference, to be honest. Again, I just like to try out these like new things. I know that's not a great reason to do so. I wanted to try getting chin filler, so I got chin filler. I have gotten my cheeks done in the past and I've had good experiences and I've had bad experiences, so I will go through that all. If you guys are looking for a new place to go, check out Dr. Corey Torgerson in Yorkville. He's really good. It's pricey, not gonna lie. It was definitely a shock when I went to go pay. It was a lot of money, but he is really good at what he does and he will not mess up. So now moving on to what I've done to my face. So right now I will tell you what is in my face right now and I will also tell you what I've previously done that has worn off. So right now, as I said, I have chin filler. I still have lip filler, although I haven't gotten it done in a year. I think it's just a product that has built up over time. I have my cheeks done. I have Botox in my forehead, Botox in my chin, and that is all I have right now. What I've tried in the past is, <laughs> what I've tried in the past is jaw filler. I've tried jaw Botox. I've tried I think that's it I thought there was gonna be like a list of things no I think that's it that's what I've done in the past problems that I've had in the past are that filler is placed not properly on my face and if you even go back and look at my old videos you will see that I'm more full in like right here it didn't look bad in my opinion it just wasn't placed in the proper 
place on my face to enhance my features, if that makes sense. And then I also had kind of a bad experience last summer where I went in, I said, hey, I want filler in my cheeks. And she placed it in a weird spot because I told her where I wanted it placed, which is stupid because obviously I'm not educated in that or anything. I don't know. Like I was just like, put it right here. So I got filler right here. And then to even it out, she put some in here. That's another place I got it, in my temples. And my face looked so wide, I hated it. I, as soon as I got it done, I was like, what the hell did I do? So that lasted like four months. It wasn't overly noticeable, but for me, obviously like we're our worst critics and like it was very noticeable on me. I'm really happy with the way he placed it. And if you can tell, I don't know if you, it'll pick up, but I still have, like, I have bruising like on my face and stuff. So that's what I've gotten done. It's really not a secret. I don't think that people should hide getting anything done. I don't think it's a bad thing. And I can promise you the amount of women and men that have things done to their face is like almost more than what people don't have done to their face, okay? If you have anything to say about that, like honestly, I don't really care. Okay, now I'm gonna go into a few other things, pain, cost, and everything like that. So the pain. The pain does not hurt for me personally. I feel like I have a pretty high pain tolerance and it depends on the place that you go. Some places will freeze your areas that you're getting done. Some places won't. I personally don't like the freezing. It just like feels weird and makes my face feel like, I don't know. I just don't like the, the feeling of like not being able to feel your lips and you slobbering everywhere. That's happened. <laughs> don't like that. Doesn't hurt for me personally, but that is personal um, depending on your pain tolerance. Let me talk cost for you guys because I know that's probably a question a lot of you guys have. How much am I paying for this? Most plastic surgeons don't offer half a syringe. You buy the full syringe and then if you don't use up the full syringe, you can go back and like the following week or two and they'll inject it again. Places like Beauty Bar and place, more of places like med spas will offer you like half, half a syringe of filler and stuff like that. But again, I'm pretty sure like most plastic surgeon places don't offer you half a syringe. So that's just something to keep in mind if you guys want or if you guys are looking to get filler. Another thing is I honestly just think like going to a plastic surgeon, they're obviously more educated in your anatomy and your face and stuff like that. Obviously like they went through a lot of schooling and especially if you go to a plastic surgeon that is like specializes in facial like plastic surgery, which Corey Torgerson does. So I just felt really comfortable going in there anyways, but you will not find a syringe of filler for anywhere less than, I wanna say 500 to $600. If you're getting filler, like a syringe of filler, that's like 300, $400, I would recommend you not get it, to be honest. That's just the price of it. If I don't understand how people can get it discounted unless it's just like not good quality. A lot of med spas offer like $50 less than what you would get at like a plastic surgeon place and a lot of women take up on that offer because they're saving $50, but in the end, it's just not done properly or whatever. If you're looking for advice on that, I would spend the extra $50 and go to someone who is properly like educated and knows their shit because the last thing you want is a wonky face. No one wants that. I've been there. No one wants that. I'm trying to think of other things that you guys might have questions about. Botox. So I've gotten both Botox and Dis Dispor, I think I'm saying that right. And it's just, I think it's just like another brand of Botox. And Botox ranges anywhere from like $8 a unit to $10 a unit. When I went in last week, I think I got 300 units on my face. Do the math on that. As far as filler cost, <laughs> this is probably the most expensive filler I've ever gotten in my life. And I was blown away. I didn't obviously ask going in there like how much it was gonna be. Cause again, I kind of knew it was either gonna be around 600 to $800. It was a little bit more than that. Let me just say that. So be prepared that if you guys are obviously worried about money, obviously ask, be smart and ask how much it is before you commit to it. But I know that this will last me a while. I'm trying to think of other questions, but I think I've answered everything. I've talked about costs. I've talked about the new place that I went to. I've talked about what I've gotten done. What was that? I've talked about what I've gotten done and I think that 
is basically all. I hope that answered any questions that you guys might have. I guess I'll show you my face with my bangs out of my, my face. This is how my face looks now after I got, like it's very natural, it's not like, holy shit, she just got a ton of work done, which obviously I don't think really anyone wants to look like that. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm very happy with it and if anyone has anything bad to say, your comment will be deleted. Alrighty guys, that's it for my video today. I hope you guys found this video a little bit helpful. I'm not saying or encouraging anyone to get this. Do it if it makes you happy. That's like my motto in life. Like if it makes you happy, do it. If it makes you happy. ADD. If you have any questions, link them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Bye guys.